black girl from Mississippi, the only thing that hears your voice is the sky of rolling thunder conjuring secrets. Foreshadowing unwanted sex with demons in exchange for new school clothes draped over a paid light bill. To me, poetry is a conversation between me, the author, and them, the audience. I interact, I let it out all on the table, and then when people read my work, it's like they're taking in all of my, my venting, my, my humor, or like my sadness, or whatever emotion it is that I write. I started writing when I was like young, and so poetry became my voice. When I'm on stage, or when I'm writing, or if I'm just in my room, just really thinking and, and, and expressing my feelings, it's, it's, it's like my courage and my voice wrapped into one. And it gives me, gives me strength. It gives me a lot of reassurance. It takes a lot to be on stage. It takes a lot to be vulnerable. It takes a lot to really put yourself out there without knowing how people are going to really, you know, take you. When I started writing poetry, I, I don't know, it was like some adrenaline, some super saiyan, <laughs> some super saiyan, like magical stuff kind of just took over me. I was a very shy person. When I first started writing it, it, it literally amped me up and I was, I was vocal. I, was, I felt powerful on stage. I spin around making constellations because here I am the star. Up and down like a proud smile, he said the words, here I am by your side. I said what I said and like I don't care what you think after I said it. Poetry is my superpower and something that really has really changed my life honestly. <laughs> you see the white folks won't understand how their dirt follows you down their fine roads how you laugh to mask a mausoleum of nose and Sunday afternoon barbecues that reek of burning flesh. Nobody wants to face those familiar eyes gaze into churches burning in the heat of June or swallow unmuted voices when silence protected us all. I realize with my writing, I don't want to do anything else with it but tell the truth, tell my truth. Being vulnerable and Allowing myself to tell my own story is what kind of drives my poetry. Being here from Mississippi, we were robbed from so many truths. I want to be able to tell my own and it be from the heart. Because my mom always told me, if you're going to lie, just don't lie to yourself. That's what I would like to convey from any of my my poetry or anything I decide to to do with my art form is be vulnerable, be exposed, be relatable, most importantly. Our bones are ruins, porcelain crosses burning in their front yard, a land of imperfections, bloody movements, wielding a shield to guard our magnolia testaments. We lie to the flowers when the floors aren't looking to turn our obituaries into poetry, springing forth an army to battle Confederate flag t-shirts with soul food. You see, everybody knows about Mississippi. Nobody knows the power you hold. Everybody knows about Mississippi. Nobody knows the power you hold. Um, of course, um, Angie Thompson. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Is it Angie Thomas? I don't know. I thought it was it's Thompson. Thompson. Just keep going. It's a T. Yeah. <laughs> say, um, say both of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> People like Angie Thomas. <laughs>